Hi there guys, my name is Ryan and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can create the frequency separation in Adobe Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop as you can see. And to create the actions, you have to click here on the window and click here that says actions. Click here that says create new set and rename them my actions just like this and after we do that you have to click here on the plus that says create new action and we are going to rename it frequency separation copy this because we are going to need it later Control c to copy click record and everything that we are going to do here in the layer section it will be recorded as an action so just duplicate the background twice, uncheck the first one and rename this one color or low and the other one rename it texture or high. Now we have to uncheck the texture because uh, we are going to make the changes in the color. So go to the filter and click here on the noise and click on dust and scratches so for this portrait as you can see uh, the radius is 25 so we are going to make it one pixel and as you can see when we increase the radius the more blurry the portrait gets so i think that for this portrait i'm gonna leave it 25 click ok wait until it's done because this may take some time and check the texture and click here on the image and apply image in the layer section here you have to click on the color or the low as you can see you have to click it here and channel RGB the blending mode uh, when you are creating them it will be normal so you have to switch it from normal to subtract the scale should be uh, 2 and offset 128 the opposite should be 100 and click OK switch the blending mode from normal to linear light as you can see a before and after and you have to duplicate this one and as you can see we have too much texture in the portrait so you have to uh, switch the blending mode from linear light to normal as you can see and just uh, create a clipping mask so everything that we do in the duplicated layer it will be shown uh, in the window when we are working so click here on the color and duplicate this one and right click create a clipping mask the reason why I'm uh, duplicating the layers is that when we make a mistake here or here we have the original uh, under that so just click on the texture hold shift keyboard and click here on the color right click and click here that says group from layers and just rename the group frequency separation click ok and click here on the stop so here is a before and after which is nothing because we have that frequency separation so just delete the frequency separation that we created right now and click play wait until it's done so here we have the frequency separation and uh, in the color usually i work with a mixer brush so i mix the skin tones and everything else that i want in this portrait for example uh, i want to remove the highlights here on the forehead and you can check a before and after as you can see we just uh, remove just a little from the highlights in the forehead and you can do the process for example here on the face now check a before and after and as you can see the skin color is really smooth for example you can even remove the necklines so uh, sometimes i use this method so i click here on the patch tool and I just make a selection around them and just drag and drop them into a safe area just like this so you have to make a selection and just move it where it will be safe as you can see a before and after and it's not looking that good because we have to make more work into it so I click here on the mixer brush and I just mix the skin tones here Now check a before and after what's going on here and uh, you will be wondering why the lines are still here 
uh, the reason why the lines are still here is because they are in the texture. So in the texture, we have to work uh, with a clone stamp tool. So just click here on the clone stamp tool. Make sure that opacity is 100% and flow is 100%. And uh, we are going to zoom in just a little. Make the brush of the clone stamp tool, uh, clone stamp tool just a little bigger. And uh, you have to click Alt keyboard, hold it, and just click to copy and just paint to paste just like this. So you have to copy paste as near as possible. Because, uh, for example, if you copy the texture here and you uh, paste it here, as you can see, it will be a big mess. So make sure to copy paste as near as possible. So once again, hold Alt keyboard and just click and release Alt and just paint to paste. So copy paste and this is how you can uh, clean in the texture. For example, uh, the hair here. We do the same process, copy paste as near as possible, just like this. And this is how you can clean in the texture or in the high. For example, uh, we can uh, clean the forehead. So make sure, as I said, to copy paste the texture as near as possible because uh, if we copy here and paste it here, as you can see, the texture, uh, sorry, the texture will be really bad. Right now, I just uh, wanna mix the skin tones here on the neck, on the arms, just a little. Now check a before and after of this entire process. And if you think that uh, you have make uh, the things too far, you can always lower the opacity of the color, for example, right here. But as you can see, we are removing the uh, neckline so I'm just gonna leave it as it is so I just show you how you can create the frequency separation how you can use it and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all of the links down in the description because you will find the raw file some premium raw files I uh, posted before also you can check other links uh, of my retouching actions if you don't want to spend time to Create the frequency separation, the jump burn, and everything else that needs uh, for a touch. You can click the link in the description uh, because I have a lot of actions uh, that will help you to retouch. Don't forget to leave some comments down below. Let me know if I'm understandable or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.